Formula One racers drive some of the fastest cars in the world. But what kind of cars do they drive when they get home from work? After all, the average salary in Formula One is a whopping $10 million. <laughs> the accelerations, I mean, this, I mean, it's a brick. I mean, it's like rock solid, but it is glued to the ground somehow. Like. With some making as much as $40 million per year. So who is the king of supercars in Formula One? Welcome to Explained. All right, let's start off with Max Verstappen. The 2021 Formula One world champion has become the face of the sport, earning a cool $25 million in base salary in 2022. Max Verstappen might be the new poster boy for Formula One. Valkyrie coming out soon. Yeah, right. Are it you is, getting one? Yeah. Yes. But his car collection is unusual. What was the first car you ever drove? I think it was uh, a van, actually. He has a love for Aston Martins with a DB11, a DBX SUV, DBS Super Leggera and a Vantage already sitting in the garage of his $17 million Monaco home. I think it's very racing. Yeah. You know, if, I mean, for sure you can also drive normally with it. Yeah. But he's not done with the British car maker. He also has an Aston Martin Valkyrie on order. The Red Bull collab has a top speed of 400 kilometers an hour and costs around $3 million. But despite his luxurious collection, Verstappen's daily, apparently, is a Renault Clio. A Clio was Max's first car. He learned to drive the roads on it. And what makes it even more crazy is that Verstappen was a Formula One driver before he could legally drive. He made his full debut for Toro Rosso at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix at just 17 years and 166 days old. Max Verstappen, another debutant. He passed his driving test six months later, which is an incredible achievement. But if you're riding around in a Clio, I'm not sure you can be the king of supercars. Next up, Lando Norris. At just 22 years old, he's one of the youngest racers in Formula One, but he's already earning more than $20 million a year. Going too fast! He's amassed an incredible collection of supercars, but here's the thing. The McLaren driver loves to drive McLarens. He has a McLaren 570. A GT. Do it, do it. I mean. <laughs> and a 720S amongst a load of other cars. But expensive cars are nothing new for the Formula One prodigy. In 2019, his dad, Adam Norris, was named the 501st richest person in the UK. And while Lando's car collection is extraordinary, especially for someone so young, he'll need to expand it out before we can name him the king of supercars. Fernando Alonso. The oldest driver in Formula One in 2022 is one of the most successful racers in the world. Fernando Alonso is a two-time F1 champion, a two-time Le Mans champion, and a Daytona champion. It's believed he's worth around $240 million and he's put that money to good use. The former Ferrari driver owns a Ferrari 458 Italia, a Maserati Grand Cabrio, and the stunning Ferrari California, which is an incredible collection by itself. But if you want to be the king of supercars, you need something more. Like, for example, a car named after you, which is exactly what Fernando has. The prize of his collection is the Ferrari 599 GTB Alonso F1 edition. It has a 6-liter V12 engine, which makes a ridiculous 739 horsepower. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds and costs $1.7 million. But has Alonso won the crown? Not if our next driver has anything to do with it. Lewis Hamilton. A seven-time Formula One champion, Lewis Hamilton holds the record for the most wins, pole positions, and podium finishes. <laughs> He's currently the sport's highest paid driver, earning $40 million per year in base salary alone. You are so bad. <sighs> <laughs> no, I've got to get out. I don't think we were allowed to do that, but we did it anyway. No, He's probably the greatest of all time of Formula One, and his car collection is also at a GOAT level. He has a mix of modern masterpieces. First is the $2.7 million Mercedes AMG Project One, which is so powerful, it's banned in America. Then there's a $1.1 million McLaren P1 and a $2.2 million LaFerrari Aperta. What's up, Lewis? 
Alongside some older classics, such as this 1966 Shelby Cobra 427, worth over $2 million. A 427 Cobra, bro! Original! The name's Bond. Lewis Hamilton Bond. <laughs> But just because Lewis Hamilton is one of, if not the greatest driver of all time and drives some of the most beautiful cars ever created, it doesn't mean they're always well looked after. In 2015, Hamilton crashed his purple Pagani Zonda into parked cars on the streets of Monte Carlo. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And Hamilton has since sold the Zonda saying, the Zonda is terrible to drive. It's the best sounding car I own, but handling wise, it's the worst. So surely there's no one out there that can challenge Hamilton to the throne when it comes to supercars. Decided to switch it up. It's a Zonda. <laughs> well, there is one man and it might surprise you. But first, here are some honorable mentions. Sebastian Vettel. The four-time world champion currently drives for Aston Martin, earning a cool $15 million per year. When Vettel was younger, he idolized the three Michaels, Jordan, Jackson, and Schumacher. But when you're five foot nine and you can't sing, his options were fairly limited. So he ended up following Schumacher to Ferrari, and that's actually reflected in his garage. Here, you'll find a 2016 LaFerrari, a 2004 Enzo, a 1996 F50, and a California T. But rather than sit in traffic in one of his Ferraris, Vettel prefers to get around on a bicycle. Next up, Daniel Ricciardo. Known as the honey badger of Formula One because of his fearless racing style, Ricciardo is another one who sits on a $15 million contract. And like Max Verstappen, he's putting it to good use by having a $3 million Aston Martin Valkyrie on order. But while he's waiting for that one to arrive, he's still got this Porsche 918 Spider, a $1 million plug-in hybrid with less than 1,000 ever made. Next, Charles Leclerc. The former two-time FIA Rookie of the Year, Leclerc appears to be the man behind Ferrari's revival in F1. His $12 million contract has helped him put together an impressive garage at just 24 years old. The crowning jewel of Leclerc's collection is his $3 million Bugatti Chiron. With nearly 1,500 horsepower, the Chiron is one of the most powerful cars ever created. But to be the king of supercars, having just one Bugatti isn't enough. Which brings us to our last contender. Adrian Satil. We told you our last name might surprise you. Adrian Satil hasn't raced in Formula One since 2015, and his career was pretty controversial. Oh, and there is Adrian Sutil crashing into the Armco. In 2012, he was convicted of grievous bodily harm after attacking the owner of the Lotus F1 team at a nightclub in Shanghai. But Satil's car collection might be the best of any F1 driver ever. According to reports, Satil owns not one, not two, but seven different Bugattis. This includes his most recent addition, the Bugatti Chiron Per Sport, known as the Green Rhapsody. He also owns two purple Paganis, a Huayra and a Zonda, much like Hamilton's former purple Zonda, which is interesting seeing as the two were close friends until Satil's trial back in 2012. Just like Hamilton, Satil isn't always the most careful driver off the track. In 2020, Satil crashed his orange McLaren Senna LM into a light pole on the streets of Monaco. And here's the thing, only 20 of the Senna LMs were ever made. But we haven't even mentioned Satil's two Koenigseggs, his 70th anniversary California T, or his stunning Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss. And that makes Adrian Satil our F1 king of the supercars. But should Hamilton sit at the top of the mountain alongside his seven F1 titles? Or is there someone that we've missed? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.